the carry trade um, is an idea that um, developed currency in the 90s and in the noughties. And what traders were increasingly finding is that if they borrowed uh, money in a currency which had a low interest rate and invested it in a country whose currency had a high interest rate, they could persistently make money. This is a problem for economic theory um, because we should expect the interest rate differential between the low interest rate country and the high interest rate uh, country just to reflect the expected exchange rate depreciation. So in a sense, you shouldn't expect to make any profit from this trade systematically. Let me illustrate with a simple example. If I were to put $100 into the US and the interest rate was 1%, at the end of the year, I'd get a dollar back. If at the same time, I put £100 into sterling and the interest rate in the UK was 5%, at the end of the year, I'd get £5 back. But the interest rate differential should tell us that the sterling is expected to depreciate by 4% which is the difference between 5% and 1% in terms of interest rate. If sterling depreciates by 4%, my 5% sterling return turns into a 1% dollar return. 5% minus 4% equals 1%, which is the dollar return. Anything else would be an equilibrium in which capital would flow. And the idea is that capital would flow until this arbitrage free equilibrium was in place. That's why persistent profits from the carry trade are a surprise. And I shall try to explain why in these lectures. You'd certainly be within your rights to ask me whether anyone believes in an economic theory if they continue to make money in a world in which economic theory suggests they shouldn't. Does this mean that the traders either weren't listening to the lectures they listened to as undergraduates or were smarter than their professors and decided to ignore the ideas. Actually, it turns out that interest rate differentials may also reflect uh, risk premia. And if they reflect risk premia, in effect what you're doing by investing in a country with high interest rates is bearing the risk that every once in a while there'll be an economic catastrophe in that country that will lead to a large change in the exchange rate if the traders are actually betting that they're smart enough to get out of that currency before it crashes. And that's the risk that they're bearing. They are actually bearing through this carry trade the statement that they are smart enough to foresee the crisis and move out of that currency before their domestic currency returns are bombed out by a large collapse in the economy. This is the carry trade.